The advent of social media in the late 1990s through the first platform, Six Degrees, brought many advantages. Global connectivity and instant communication, access to information and brand awareness for businesses are all just some examples that have become easier year by year since then. However, several downsides came along too. In particular, the impact of social media on body image for certain people. Therefore, today, we wanted to investigate the literature on the subject to see how serious a problem it is. But first, as always, please take note of our disclaimer. Let's begin by defining body image. Body image relates to someone's perception, thoughts and emotions revolving around their own body. Of course, with social media, there are unfortunately a lot more opportunities for the bullying of children and adolescents, as well as even for adults, which can negatively affect body image that way. But as much so is from the heightened exposure to body image ideals. Body image ideals can range from clear skin to youthfulness, etc. But as we are a weight management channel, we are going to focus on body composition in particular. For women, these are things like thinness or curves, while for men it's more muscularity and leanness. This heightened exposure to body image ideals can be bad for body image, as it can lead to body dissatisfaction, defined as the negative attitude towards one's own body resulting from a perceived discrepancy between the actual body image and the ideal body image. And this is concerning as research has proven that body dissatisfaction is a risk factor for developing an eating disorder, primarily by way of an excessive restriction of calories that can lead to anorexia or the gradual uptake of binge eating episodes. There have been several studies now that have shown that people who compare how they look to that of others, who they feel are more attractive than them, have a higher chance of being unhappy with their body and developing an eating disorder. Not only that, but using social media can lead to more exposure to unhealthy eating habits. One study found that teenagers who opened a social media account were likely to see content promoting eating disorders in as little as 8 minutes. Indeed, research does indicate that women are more sensitive to body dissatisfaction than men are. Some possible reasons for this may be that men tend to focus on other things like success over looks, and that women are more often portrayed and critiqued based on how they look in society. Nonetheless, that doesn't mean it doesn't affect men as well at the same time. In the UK, the Women and Equalities Committee conducted a survey into body image by way of social media. And I found that from analysing data from almost 8,000 responders, that 62% of women felt negatively about their body image, along with 53% of men. On a side note, if you'd like to undertake our evidence-based and results-backed personalised Plato Weight Management programme, please click the link in the top right-hand corner of the video or follow the link in the description. Now, a common question we wanted to address is why the concerning women don't use body dissatisfaction positively as a motivator to improve their bodies and ultimately enhance body satisfaction rather than adopt unhealthy eating habits. Don't men do this generally? Well, some women out there do too. Just men are more likely to use body dissatisfaction positively because we are more inclined to adopt active problem-focused coping styles towards stressors, according to the research in comparison to women who are more prone to using passive coping strategies like rumination. Besides this, there's other things to consider about body dissatisfaction and motivation. One is that the shame and self-criticism that come with body dissatisfaction can contrarily reduce motivation for many. Two is that many influencers, celebrities and even regular people edit their photos to enhance their appearance. So you can imagine how hard it is to motivate yourself towards something that is literally unattainable. And lastly, too much focus on physical appearance actually worsens the likelihood of improving it through diet and exercise. This is because of what's known as the over justification effect, where people's intrinsic motivation, the more powerful type of motivation, is reduced due to being too heavily extrinsically motivated. In relation to weight, intrinsic motivators involve things that arise from within us like facilitating self-actuality, being a good role model to family or friends, and personal well-being day to day. In contrast, extrinsic motivators cover things that arise from outside of us, i.e. approval from others, appearance, or financial incentives. And a study on financial incentives, which can serve as a representation of extrinsic motivation towards weight as a whole, demonstrated this. In a nutshell, 
The study participants were divided into three groups. Two where a financial incentive was offered and one where no financial incentive was offered. They were given a weight loss goal of one pound per week for 16 weeks. At first glance, the study's results were overwhelmingly in favor of the financially incentivized groups with both groups achieving as much as three times the weight loss as the non-financially motivated group by the end of the study. But look what happened when the financial incentive group participants were not offered any more monetary opportunities for weight loss after 16 weeks. Three months later, when the researchers conducted a follow-up, these were the groups that actually regained weight whereas the group that didn't receive any extrinsic motivator to begin with was still slightly in the green. Overall, these points illustrate why experiencing body dissatisfaction negatively affects motivation for many. But what have your experiences been from social media's impact on your body image? We'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Additionally, if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So that has been our video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.